Hi, my name is Margaret Sass. I'm the Assistant Director of Service Learning here at Purdue University. I am bringing you information regarding learning assessments and scales related to service learning. So if you missed the workshop, I'm going to give you this information basically in a nutshell and provide resources where you can find on your own. So let's get started. First of all, there is a lib guide that's available at Purdue University and you can actually Google service learning lib guide or ACE and you should be able to find it. On there you will find different types of service learning theories or the, the lit review for a service learning type of project, quantitative and qualitative scales, different journals that you can submit to as well as conferences that you may be interested in submitting proposals to. Now, just to give you a general idea of the history of service learning, we have the founding fathers of service learning, which I consider the ones that created it in the beginning, and this is Dewey, Kolb, Vygotsky, and Ferrier. As you can see, it goes all the way up into the 1980s, and this is basically Kolb's work on experiential learning. Again, this information is available on LibGuide, but if you actually Google these names, you will definitely see how they attach to the world of service learning. There is also a transformative learning theory which is a fairly new type of theory that you can also research. Constructivism is another one or social constructivism more directly attached to Vygotsky and then participatory action research also community based research which I would consider kind of the same type of thing. Now these are different types of scales and what you can measure if you are interested in doing a service learning research project. You will see there is a huge array of information that you can actually research and you can find assessments qualitative and quantitative related to these general topics, whatever may interest you. For example, I seem to be very interested in empathy, so therefore I would look for an assessment on empathy related to the service learning that I incorporate into my classroom. Now for quantitative options, which we're dealing with numbers, we have a pre and post test, longitudinal, meaning it should occur over a couple of years, internationalization, there's tons of things related um, to international service learning, linguistics, the language ability, and then of course civic engagement, which is a natural link to service learning. And all right there, you can see different types of scales that you can use. And I encourage you again to maybe pause this video and write down this information or print out the PowerPoint. Now also is behavior, community engagement, and specific service learning, actual service learning type of assessment skills that you may or may not have to get permission for. Qualitative options. We have narratives where they tell a story. We have case studies where we examine you know, very individuals based on the service learning project much more in depth. We have different forms of re reflection, meaning you can actually have your students do daily or weekly journals. You can have them do pre-entry versus post-entry journals. A final essay, I always encourage. Blogging is another format to actually do some type of reflection. Digital storytelling is a whole new thing that I suggest that you look into. And a service learning project YouTube video, meaning you can actually have your students create a YouTube video. And then reflection handbooks, which is also listed on my website. And, the, and all the handbooks are for free. Now these are the different journals that you can submit to. I don't want to go into in great detail because you can find this on LibGuide as well. And then conferences that you can submit to, these are the most specific ones that occur every year and I highly recommend that you attend one or two. It's a wealth of information and the experience is fantastic. So there you go, service learning in a nutshell regarding scales and assessments. I definitely recommend you go to the LibGuide site and there you will find tons of information that will benefit you in your research and any type of project that you're interested in doing. Thank you. Have a good day.